Imagine waking up and realizing that the walls of your room are no longer the limit of your world. Imagine a reality where the digital and the physical don't just sit next to each other, they bleed into one another until you can't tell where the pixel ends and the atom begins. For years, we've played with VR. We've worn the heavy headsets, we've dealt with the grainy screens, and we've tolerated the wires and the short battery lives. But the honeymoon phase of basic virtual reality is over. Something massive is coming. Something that is about to make every other headset you've ever owned look like a toy from the Stone Age. This is the Meta Quest 4. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. The US tech landscape is obsessed with one thing, the iPhone moment. That singular point in time where a piece of technology stops being a gadget and starts being an essential part of the human experience. With the Quest 4, Mark Zuckerberg isn't just trying to sell you a gaming console. He is trying to hand you the keys to a new dimension. The whispers coming out of Reality Labs suggest a device that is 30% thinner, 50% more powerful, and a thousand times more intuitive than anything we've ever seen. We are talking about a total departure from the boxy headsets of the past. The Quest 4 is rumored to move toward a goggle-style form factor, balanced, lightweight, and designed to be worn for hours, not minutes. But let's get into the brain of the beast. The Silicon. The partnership between Meta and Qualcomm has reached a tipping point. The new Snapdragon XR chip inside this device isn't just faster. It's built with a dedicated neural engine specifically for spatial intelligence. This means the Quest 4 doesn't just see your room, it understands it. It knows the difference between your mahogany coffee table and your sleeping golden retriever. It understands light and shadow in a way that allows virtual objects to cast realistic shadows on your actual floor. This is mixed reality perfected. When you place a virtual screen on your wall, it stays there. Not just for five minutes, but forever. You can walk out of the room, go to work, come back, and your digital workspace is exactly where you left it, floating in physical space. Now, let's talk about the eyes. The Quest 4 is expected to feature dual 4K micro OLED displays. To the average person, that's just a number. To a tech enthusiast, that is the holy grail. We are finally reaching retina-level clarity in VR. No more screen door effect. No more blurry text. You could read a digital novel inside the Quest 4 as comfortably as you read a physical book. But the real magic isn't just what you see, it's how the headset sees you. Advanced eye tracking and face tracking are no longer pro features reserved for $1,000 headsets. They are standard. When you smile, your avatar smiles. When you wink, the world winks back. The social presence is so high that a meeting in the metaverse won't feel like a video call. It will feel like a physical encounter. For the gamers in the audience, the stakes have never been higher. We are seeing a shift away from tech demos and toward AAA experiences. With the power of the Quest 4, we are looking at the possibility of full-scale open-world RPGs running natively on the headset. No PC required. No cables. Just pure, unadulterated immersion. Imagine playing a survival game where you have to physically duck under branches or reach behind your back to grab a virtual quiver. The haptic feedback in the new Touch Pro